a practical MPI on a lifting point or paddock. So this is the process of which you spray the white after cleaning the wetted area. You spray the white after spraying the white on the wetted areas. Then you bring in your bar magnets and you put your bar magnet in between at angle 45 degrees. You make sure it's well positioned. I hope you can see it. Then whatness you now spray the white the black contrast. You spray the black contrast and you look at it critically. You look at it critically if there is any discontinuity. As you spray there, you spray the other parts. You spray the other part and you change the position of your bar magnet. You change it again to see if there's any crack. If there's any crack, it will visibly show because of the help of the magnet, it will expand it. If there's any discontinuity or crack. Visually, you will see it with the help of the magnet. That is, after you apply the white contrast and the black, you will now begin to check for defects. You also put this point, you spray the black and you watch for a few seconds to see there's going to be any defect. I hope you can see it. So this is how an MPI is done on the weathered area. And also there is a load bearing point here from the powder pool. There is a stress, is a stress area. This is where the shackle goes in and this other point. So you can also check to be sure that there is no defect on this line, it has been cleaned already. Then you now apply your after applying your white, you apply your black and you look at it visually, very critical. You can also move your magnet, look at it, look at the hole, look at it, the hole is well designed. Look at this other side. You also spray this side also to check also for defect. The defect that you can notice from this kind of uh, uh, powder is uh, mechanical damage, flame cut on the paddy, uh, porosity on the wood. These are the things you check when carrying out an MPR. And they have four lifting points. We finish with this one, we go to the next point where I went to check. Already sprayed right here. Then you put your magnet and you check. You spray your black your black you check if there's any crack put it here at that point also you also check you spray you spray your black and all the weathered area where you apply the white contrast and you look at it you look at it to check for discontinuity that is a crack you also look at this point and also check so that is how you detect a crack on a wetted area and also you consider the thickness of the powder is an essential if the minimum powder thickness is supposed to be 22 mm depending on what it's going to carry you have different size of powders and the material used for it also matters so much but the essence of this class is for us to know the steps on how we can carry out uh, an MPI on a word or on a paddy that is wedded to a primary structure. This is the primary structure of this uh, container. That is key. This is key that is covering or protecting the, the office caravan. So, in our subsequent video, we'll be telling you other things you need to know on how to carry out MPI using uh, black powder suspension this is black powder suspension then using uh, the bar magnet computer bar magnet this is computer bar magnet and also using the, the contrast white this is the contrast white bent and then uh, the pen remover which helps you to remove the pen if there's any pen in the surface before you now start carrying out your NPI you also make use of your pen brush uh, wire brush, I mean wire brush. You, after applying the, the 
then remove our UOR brush and we'll brush the point to make sure that there's no remnant of paint on the weathered guy when you carry out.